Okay, so 45 minute yoga um, workout -y flow session. We're gonna start standing and have a strap or belt or resistance band, whatever you've got. So just hold the resistance band in uh, just one hand to start with. Just roll the shoulders down your back a couple of times. Let the arms just hang to the sides of the body, drop the head over towards one shoulder, roll the chin towards the chest and take it across to the other side. Mm -hmm. And just take that either side a couple of times. Okay. Let's just circle the right arm going backwards for four, three, two, one and the left hand going backwards for four, three, two, one. Right arm coming forwards for four, three, two, one. And left arm forwards for four, three, two, one. Take your strap or your band as long as you need it to be. Go fairly long to start with, and then you'll figure it out after a couple. So you're going to lift the strap up above the head. You want the arms to stay straight and the movement to feel pretty smooth. So keep some resistance in the band, like you're pulling it in the middle. And as you exhale, round it back behind you. So palms set to face forwards. Good. So then inhale as you lift it back up again. Exhale as it comes forwards and down. Inhale, lift it up. Just keep that going at your breath phase. So find that kind of biting point where the arms stay straight, but you're still getting a stretch around the shoulders or the chest. So if you need to tighten it in, just go small adjustments, they'll make quite a big difference, or loosen it up a little bit if you need to. Let the movement feel smooth and arms stay straight. Try to keep the rest of the torso steady as well, so we're not using the rib cage and the pelvis to kind of hula hoop our way through it. Try things to stay steady. So as this strap comes around behind you, press the strap into your back so you push the arms forward, trying to put a resistance through the shoulders. Inhale again, lift the strap up and over, and then press the strap into the pelvis, push the arms back. Inhale up and over, just a couple more times with that. Press the arms forwards. Inhale up and over, and press the arms back. Bring the strap up above your head and then just close the strap in a little bit tighter so the strap's about a shoulder width above the head. Take a few wraps in. Pull the strap as tight as you can in the middle and as you exhale, bend the elbows, belly draws to spine and just slide that band at the back of the head. Keep pulling into the strap. Inhale, lift the arms back up again. Exhale, pull into the strap, squeeze the shoulder blades and the arms pull down. Inhale, lifting back up again. Exhale, squeezing it down. My cat is eyeing up the strap. I keep thinking he's going to jump up and get it. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, squeeze it down. Inhale, lift it back up again. Keep the resistance in the strap. Keep the shoulders connected into your back. Belly pulls to spine. So make sure there's no back bending coming into the back. Take a breath in here at center. And as you exhale, lean across towards the left, really drawing belly button to spine. Think about the left hand coming down to the floor, but the right hand lifting up towards the ceiling so you feel the lengthening in the sideline of the body. Inhale brings you back up to center, exhale lean over to the right lifting that left little finger up as the right hand pulls down. Inhale back up to center, just go once more on the side with that, so exhale to the left. Inhale through the center, exhale to the right. Inhale, come back to the center. Keep the arms by your ears. So we roll down through the spine. Little bend to the knees as you come down. Stretch through the back. When you get to the base of the fold, unravel the band from your hands. Just place that down to one side. Holding here in the fold, grab hold of alternate elbows. Take a little sway from one side to the other. Just loosening up. And then let the arms dangle to the floor. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, rolling up through the spine, use the abdominals to push you up rather than the glutes pulling you up and roll the shoulders down your back. So coming through a few half sun salutations, so standing at the top of the mat, take a big breath in as the arms lift up. Exhale, find a forward fold. Halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, fold into the legs. 
Inhale as you rise, all the way back up to standing, arms lifting. Exhale again to refold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold into the legs. Slowly rolling up, bone by bone. Take the arms up overhead as you rise. Exhale to refold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold into the legs. Inhale as you rise, coming all the way up. Exhale to refold, take another round. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold into the legs. Inhale as you rise, coming all the way up. This time we'll continue through sun A. So exhale to fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Palms to the floor, step or jump back to plank position. Holding in plank. Push the, the hands into the floor to shoulder blades feel really broad. Knees can be on the floor as an option, but keep that lower belly pulling into the spine. Hips in line with the rib cage, so make sure bums aren't sticking up into the air or sinking to the floor. Pelvis in line with rib cage. Keep pressing the ground away. So just using your feet, rock the shoulders forwards and backwards. So this isn't the hips lifting up and down, this is hips shifting forwards and backwards. Keep it going. Doesn't matter which side of it you breathe, just make sure that you are breathing. Take another rock. And then place the knees to the floor and the chest to the ground. Elbows hug into the body. Slither forwards and up to your cobra, rolling the shoulders down. And as you exhale, make your way back over the knees and into your downward facing dog. So give the legs a bit of movement here, paddling through the feet, swing the hips side to side. Deepen into the breath and relax the neck. Bring the gaze to the hands, bend the knees, step walk or hop the feet up to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, fold into the legs. Inhale as you rise, coming all the way up, hands high. Exhale to refold. Halfway lift, inhale. Step or jump back to plank position, and again, we're holding plank. So your option to do this next little um, plank variation on your forearms, if you know the wrists aren't feeling too strong. Otherwise, so we're bringing left palm or left forearm into the middle of the mat, roll onto the sides of the feet, lift the right arm up. Option to soften this slightly by dropping the underneath knee to the floor for a bit of support. Otherwise, holding here. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, switch sides. So right palm or forearm to the ground, rolling onto the side, left arm lifts. Again, option to keep that underneath the knee to the ground. Wherever you are, take a big breath in. Exhale, left hand down, coming back over to the other side again. So right arm lifting up. Option to hold here, which is totally still counts. We'll see if we can lift that right leg up off the floor. Right hand comes overhead into one long line, and as you exhale, bring the elbow and the knee to squeeze together. Try and feel the contraction of the side of the torso here into obliques. Inhale to lengthen out, take three more breaths if we can. Exhale, squeeze, contract the abdominals. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to squeeze. Last one. Exhale to squeeze. So keep this knee bent, bring the hand to the floor. Keep the knee coming towards the right elbow. Drop the knee down to the right wrist and then sweep the knee across to the left wrist. Up to the left elbow, back to the right elbow. Take two more boxes, down to the right wrist, across to the left wrist, up to the elbow, over to the right. Stay at my pace, not whizzing through. Down, left, up, right. Send the leg back up to the ceiling, take a big breath in. Exhale through any variation of a chaturanga. So maybe the foot down, you take a full or a half that we did earlier, still warming up the body, go easy. Leading through the vinyasa, coming back into a downward facing dog. Take a big breath in and a full breath out. Gaze the hands, bend the knees, step, walk or jump the feet up to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, fold into the legs, go straight back into that plank position to the other side. So right hand or right forearm in the middle of the mat, rolling to the sides of the feet, left arm lifting high. Again, option to stay here where you are, still a strong hold, or lengthening left arm overhead, 
kick up the left foot, so maybe holding here. Full breaths if we can into oblique, so exhale, belly to spine, elbow to knee. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, squeeze in. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, squeeze in. Last one. Keep the knee bent, place the palms to the floor, come onto the palms if you are on the forearms. Three boxes with this knee to drop it down to the wrist, across to the right, up to the elbow, over to left. Down, right, up, left, down, right, up, left. Lift the foot up to the ceiling, take a big breath in. Exhale any variation of your chaturanga, so either half with the knees down or full or one leg lifting. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale back into downward facing dog. Take a deep full breath in. And a full breath out. Bring the gaze to the hands, bend the knees, step walk or jump the feet up. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold into the legs. Slowly rolling up all the way to stand, bring the arms overhead as you rise. Exhale to refold through to the feet. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, folding in, step or jump back to plank position, holding there. Drop the right forearm to the mat, followed by the left forearm. Option to do this on the knees. Come back to the left palm, back up to the right palm. Drop the left forearm to the mat, followed by the right, come back to the right, up to the left. Down right, down left, up left, up right, down left, down right. I oh, know the other side, oops, up left, up right. Come back onto the forearms at the same time. So take the hands forward slightly and lower both elbows to the ground. From here, either holding or bringing in some twists. If you're taking care of lower back, go really easy. With this, you're gonna drop one side of the hips to the floor, over the toes and drop the other side. Again, you can still do this on the knees. Just kind of sending the bums to tap the floor, one side to the other. Exhale on the twist, inhale through center. Keep it going. Keep belly pulling to the spine, working that waistline. This is a really good one for working arm balance transitions and the stronger side of your practice. All that core strength, just switch on. Holding center, take a breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down to the ground. Take a moment to rest, hands under the forehead. Give anything a bit of a wriggle and take a deeper breath. Okay, so then bring the hands underneath the shoulders, elbows hug in, tuck the toes underneath. You must stay on the floor, take a big breath in. As you exhale, belly to spine, push up to plank position and back into downward facing dog. Take a deep bend in the knees, so a slightly shorter downward dog, so you can really squat into the legs. Try to get the rib cage connected to the thighs. Take a big breath in here. As you exhale, bring the right knee to tap the right shoulder if you can, or elbow. Inhale, come back into the squat. As you exhale, bring the left knee towards the left shoulder or elbow. Inhale, back into squat. Exhale, right side. Inhale, squat, left side, inhale, once more either way, exhale, right, inhale, exhale, left, inhale, we will start working into the legs now, so inhale, lift the right leg towards the ceiling, as you exhale, step three is between the hands, this is phase one of that standing flow, some of you will have done before. Inhale, lift the arms up, holding this lunge on the first round will go nice and slow. Make sure you're squeezing this right glute and pushing through the heel of the front foot, which is going to activate the underneath side of this leg. Take another breath in. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor. Inhale, send the foot back up to the ceiling. Repeat that. Exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the hands. Exhale, hands to mat. 
Inhale, three leg dog. One more round here. Exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the hands. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, lift the foot, holding. Exhale, just place the foot down to the floor into downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg. Slow on the first round. Exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the arms. We're just going to hold this lunge, squeezing through that left glute, left buttock. Push through the front heel so that activates the underneath side of that front leg. Take a breath in. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, three leg dog. Two more rounds. Exhale, step through. Inhale to lunge, push through the heel. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, three legs up. Last round, exhale. Inhale to lift. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, lift the toes, hold. Slowly bring the foot down to the floor. Phase two, so bring the right leg up. Same flow again, really. So exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the hands. Exhale, hands to mat, and then inhale to lift the back foot up, squeezing through the glutes to lift it. Place the toes down, and back into three leg dogs, took the right foot high, two more rounds. Exhale, step through. Inhale to lunge. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, back foot lift. Exhale, step it down. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the hands. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, back foot lift. Exhale, toes to mat. Inhale, right foot high. Either just stepping down into downward dog or roll through a vinyasa. Or meet back in the downward dog. When you're back, take an inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, step through. Inhale, come into lunge. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, bring the back foot up. Exhale, back foot down. Inhale, left leg back up. Second round, exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the hands. Exhale, hands to mat. Back foot lifts, inhale. Step the foot down. Inhale, left leg high, one more round here. Exhale, step through. Inhale, into lunge. Hands to mat. Inhale, back foot lifts. Exhale, step it down. Inhale, left leg high. Either pausing in downward dog and wait there or roll through the vinyasa. Back into downward dog, holding. This week, we'll bring a phase three into it. So same flow again, I'll tell you when to pause. We inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, come into lunge. Exhale, hands to mat. Pick up the back foot, hold. Stay squatting into the supporting leg. Bring the hands to the heart center. Then straighten the supporting leg to push up into warrior three. Squat through the supporting leg, get down. Push up. And down. Doesn't matter which side of it you breathe, make sure the breath just feels connected with the movements. Inhale long and exhale squat is where I prefer. Next time you're in warrior three, so both legs straight, hold there, interlace the fingers and index fingers pointing out like your Charlie's Angels. On your inhale, reach those fingers forwards, and as you exhale, bring the elbows to knee under the body, little mini squat into the supporting leg. Inhale to lengthen out. Exhale, elbows to knee underneath. Take two more if you can. Make sure you're not near anything sharp or damageable around you. Inhale to lengthen, last one. Exhale, hug in. Come back into lunge. The hands to mat, set the foot down. Send the right leg high. Take a big breath in. Either pause in downward dog or roll through the vinyasa. Whew, my butt is on fire. I'm back into downward dog. Give the legs a little paddle, and then we take the left leg high. Take a breath in. Exhale, step through to between the hands. Inhale, come into lunge. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, lift the back foot off the floor, holding here. Bring the hands to the chest, and then pressing through the front leg, lift up into warrior three. 
Squatting into the supporting leg. Push up into warrior three. And keep it going. Next time you're with both legs straight, holding there, interlace the fingers, find your Charlie's Angels Mudra again, and then inhale, lengthen out, I haven't got enough room in here, exhale, knees to elbows underneath the body, slight bend in that supporting leg, so switch on the glutes, inhale to lengthen, exhale, squeeze under, two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, hold, bring the hands to the floor, step back into your lunge, then the left leg up to the ceiling with a big breath in. Either pause in downward dog or roll through the vinyasa. Bring the gaze to the hands, take a breath in. As you exhale, simultaneously take both elbows down to the floor. Into dolphin. On the next exhale, push back up onto the palms. Hold, inhale. Exhale, both elbows down to the floor. Hold, inhale. Exhale, pushing up to palms. Hold, inhale. Exhale, both elbows down. Hold, inhale. Exhale, both elbows up. We move at the same time. Hold, inhale. Exhale, both elbows down, holding here. Lift the right leg towards the ceiling, take a big breath into the belly. Exhale, belly to spine, float the leg back to the floor. Left leg lifts up, take a big breath in. Exhale, belly to spine, place the leg back to the floor. Once more either side, inhale, right leg up. Exhaling down. Left leg up. Exhaling down. Bring the knees to the floor. Take either a kneeling or a child's pose. Just take a moment to rest. So then just bring the gaze to the camera. Some of you won't have done the, um, this transition before. So we're going to come back into the dolphin pose on your forearms. So full expression first. You're going to come from here on the forearms. Push forwards, elbows lift into chaturanga. Push up and back into dolphin. Okay, so keep rocking between the two. So you down level it slightly. Bring the knees to the floor and do the same thing. I'll raise my cap to stroll past and you'll see. Go forwards, dip, push back to forearm. So the same thing with knees on the ground. And you can take the dip as low as you feel good to go. Okay, ninjas, keep the legs up. In your own pace, take 10 if you can. 10 is a full round. Keep it going. Yeah. Love it. Keep breathing. Exhale as you come forwards into that chaturanga. Good. Next time on your 10th one, hold the hover of your chaturanga. Hold. It's like being in a class, wait for everyone to finish that 10th one. <laughs> Good, let your body come all the way down to the floor, relax to the ground. Bring the hands underneath the forehead so shoulders relax. Bring your hands out to the sides of you, it's more of a cactus position. So elbows in line with shoulders, palms to the floor. Press the tops of the feet into the ground so you feel the knees kind of lift off the mat. And then pull belly up to spine as they are trying to create a gap of light between belly and abdominals. Nose is just hovering off the floor so we keep the back of the neck straight. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, keep everything rooted as you've just set up. Exhale, bring the hands up off the floor, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, bring the arms back to the ground. Exhale, squeezing up. Inhale, arms to the floor. Exhale, squeezing up. Inhaling down. 
Exhale, squeezing up and hold. Reach your right arm around to tap the right thigh. Inhale, come back through the center. Exhale, reach left arm around, tap the thigh. Inhale, back to center, keep the feet rooted. Exhale, right hand round, tap the thigh. Inhale, come back to center. Left hand round, tap the thigh. Inhale, come back to center, hold, squeeze up higher, shoulder blade squeeze. Reach the arms out in front of you. Turn the hands so your palms are looking into each other. Make fist with the hands with the thumbs sticking up on top. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, come back into that W shape with the arms, elbows squeezing into the waistline. Inhale, reach the hands forwards. Exhale, squeeze them back. Belly to spine. Inhale, two more if we can. Exhale, squeezing back. Tuck the tailbone. Inhale. Exhale, squeezing back. Inhale, reach back out in front of you. Keep the thumbs lifting up to the ceiling. Keep the tailbone really trying to tuck to the floor. The pubic bone is rooting into the ground. Push the feet down. Keep the nose hovering. Lift the thumbs an inch higher. Breathing. Lift the arms higher. Take a long breath in. And exhale, bring everything to the floor. Relax. Give the body a little wriggle out. Oh. Bring the hands under the shoulders. We're going to do that reverse cha triangle that we came out of last time. So tuck the toes, stay low to the floor. Options come onto the knees or full plank. Take a breath in to prepare. Exhale, push up. Back into the downward facing dog. Give the neck a little rock side to side. Loosen it off, loosen the jaw. Wriggle the hip side to side, stretch out the back. Step either foot through so that you come into a wide leg fold, whichever way you want to face. Bring the hands into between the legs. Bring the right hand towards the left foot and the left hand lift up to the ceiling. Exhale up there. Inhale, switching sides, left hand to right, lift the right arm up. Exhale there. Inhale, switch sides. Exhale into the twist. Inhale, switch sides. Exhale into the twist. I'm going to keep this going at your breath pace now. If you want to pick it up to a bit more of a cardio rhythm, start working like a Palbati breath. So you just focus on the pulsing of the exhale, exhale, pick up the pace. Keep it going, about a minute, so take it as fast as you want to take it. Take another 10. Five. Slow it down. Bring your arms back to center. Just allow the body to find a little bit of stillness. Halfway lift as you inhale, reach the chest forwards. Exhale, soften into the fold. Heel toe the feet in a little bit closer towards each other. Keep the toes turned out, the heels turned in. Deep squat into the legs, bring the hands to the heart center. Straight spine as so though your back is against a wall. Lifting through Mula Bandha, that deeper pelvic floor, and then drop the hips into it. You bring the arms out into cactus, elbows in line with shoulders. Take a breath in, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, round through the spine, so belly pulls to spine, bring the forearms to tap each other in front. Inhale to open, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, belly to spine, forearms together. Think of it like an abdominal exercise. Inhale, opens. Exhale to squeeze. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the arms back into cactus, hold. Option, do up level onto the tiptoes of the feet. As you inhale, stay with the heels lifted. If you can, straighten up the legs, lift the arms up to the ceiling. 
stay on the tiptoes, come back into the squats, elbows bent. Good, take three more, so heels down or heels up, up to you. Inhale to straighten, exhale to squats. Inhale to straighten, nice. Exhale to squats. One more, inhaling. And exhale, bring the heels to the floor if you've lifted them, bring the arms out in front of you, make fists with the hands. Knock the fists down and up, down and up. And take it as fast as you can, just rocking the hands. Stay low in the squat. Just up and down. Okay, then turn the fists, so palms are facing each other, but keep the fists clenched. Again, go in and out. Keep the fists in and out. So you're working the forearms and the thighs and the butt and the core and your breath and the shoulders. Bring the arms out to the side of you, out wide. Palms face the floor, but keep the fists. Go up and down with the fists. Keep it going. Turn the palms to face the front. Keep the fists. Go in and out. Ah, deep in the breath. Lift the hands above the head, palms face front, scrunch up the hands, forwards back. Oh my god. <laughs> Turn the palms to face each other, in and out. Oh, we're dying slowly, take the arms out in front of you, bring the hands to the floor, straighten up the legs. Ah, give the body or the legs just a little wiggle side to side. And then you can swear at me if you like. We're coming back into the squat. So deep bend into the knees, lift the body up. Keep the hands at the heart center. You can adjust the feet as you need to. You're gonna take the weight over to the left foot and kick the right heel. So outer side of the leg lifts, and little toe lifting out to the side. Place the foot down, transfer the weight. Left leg lifts up, little toe kicks. Keep the foot flexed. Switching sides. Exhale as you kick up. Again, take this whatever pace. You want to take it. Come right through the squat in the middle. New squat. Good. So inhale through squat, exhale to kick up. Nate, take care of your glute. Keep it going. Oh my god, I'm so gonna regret this later. Oh, I do no time. Good. When you're about even, hold the squats. Take a breath in, hands to the floor, straighten up the legs. Oh, give the legs a little stretch out, body a little sway. Bring the hands around to either side of the mat, step the feet together to forward fold. Take a deep bend in the knees and sit down to the mat. Come onto your back. If you have a block handy, grab a block. I think. I'll do some abdominals. Blocks are usually handy. Bring the knees to your chest when you're on the ground and just take a rock side to side. I'll just give you a minute to grab blocks if you need one. Or a tin or a book, anything that just you can hold between your thigh and your hand or between your legs. You just slow down the breath so you can work the abdominals with the breath pace. Okay, we're back good. So we're gonna bring the legs to 90 degrees. Bring your block or your object between the thighs, any kind of way that feels good to just create a little bit of pressure between the knees. Keep the lower back connected to the floor, interlace the fingers together and place the head into the basket of your hands. Wing the elbows towards the ceiling. So your forearms are almost hugging around the temples. So you're really supporting the weight of your head into this hammock. Activate the feet so toes feel active. And then just make sure the knees are stacked above the hips. So it's just a little bit of fighting point with the abdominals having to work a little to keep the lower back pressing to the floor. Take a big breath in here. Hold the breath. Try to tuck the tailbone. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Belly pulls down and squeeze into the block. Inhale, take the head back to the floor. Hold in the breath. Squeeze the block. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up, belly pulls down, try to tuck the tailbone up. Inhale, head to the floor. Hold the breath, squeeze your block. 
Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up, belly falls down, try to tuck the tailbone up. Two more here, inhale, head to ground. Hold the breath, squeeze the block. Exhale, lifting up, belly falls down, tailbone and squeeze up. Inhale, head to floor. Hold the breath, squeeze. Exhale, lifting up, belly down, lift the tailbone. Inhale, head to the floor. Straighten the legs up a little bit higher. Legs don't have to be fully straight, but just keep the feet lifting. Keep squeezing into the block, whatever you have between the thighs. Take a breath in. As you exhale, belly down, lift elbows to toes. Try to lift the tailbone physically off the floor. Inhale, head to ground. Exhale, lifting up. Tailbone up. Inhale, head to floor. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, so three more. Try to avoid the legs rocking forwards, backwards. Lift the tailbone, think heels throwing upwards and down. So on your next one, keep the head and shoulders either lifting as an up level or staying down with the head as your lower level. We are just working, so keep your upper body really still wherever you choose to be. Just the lower body, lift the tailbone up and down, up and down, up and down. Keep it going. Exhale as you lift, squeeze into the block. Take another three, two, one. Bend the knees, release the block, take the head to the ground if you're lifting. You give someone else a little moment to relax. Keeping the legs at 90 degrees, again, that slight biting point of the abdominals having to work to keep lower back to the floor. So take a breath in here. Head can stay on the ground, elbows just relax out to the sides. Exhale, tap the right toes towards the floor. Keep the leg at that 90 degree angle. Inhale, bring the leg back up again. Exhale, take the left toes to the floor. Inhale, bring the leg back up. So alternating these toe taps to the floor at your own breath pace. The toes don't have to touch the ground. I would rather your lower back stay on the mat or the kind of label of your trousers staying on the floor. That might mean the toes don't actually touch the ground. Just keep the breath connected. So exhaling as you lower, inhale as you pick up. Next time you finish that left leg, that'll be your last side. So holding at center, press the knees together so legs are connected, take a breath in. We do the double toe tap. So exhale, drop both feet towards the ground. Again, they might not touch the floor. Inhale, bring the legs back up. Exhale, toes towards the ground. Inhale, pick it up. Keep it going. Again, up level, bring the head and shoulders up off the floor. Really use the exhale, belly pulls down on your exhale. Take another three, two, one. Hold back at 90 degrees. If you haven't already, lift the head and shoulders up. Again, hug the arms into the head. Take a breath in here at center. As you exhale, bring the elbows towards your right knee, straighten the left leg forwards, keeping it two or three feet off the floor. So again, we can keep lower back connected to the ground. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, bring elbows to left knee, straighten the right leg, keep lower back connected to the floor. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, elbows to right knees, straighten the left leg, belly down, and squeeze the glutes. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, elbows to left knee, straighten the right leg, belly down, squeeze the glutes. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, elbows to right knee, straighten left leg, belly down, squeeze the glutes, and then lift that right elbow higher so you're not leaning into the shoulder blade. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, elbows to left knee, straighten the right leg, pull the belly down, squeeze the glutes, lift the left elbow so you're not leaning into the shoulder blade. Inhale, come back to center, one more time either side. Exhale, elbows to right, straighten leg, belly down, squeeze glutes, lift elbows. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, elbows to left, straighten right, belly down, squeeze glutes, lift elbows. Inhale, back to center, hold. 
relax the head to the floor and the feet to the ground. Huh? Give the knees a little rock side to side. Hopefully that worked a little bit. So just taking a bridge pose just to lengthen the abdominals again. So keeping the feet hips distance. Bring the arms to the sides of the body with palms facing up to the ceiling. Take a full breath into the belly. As you exhale, draw the belly down with the tailbone up and then let the rest of the spine peel away. Pass your knees forwards. Take a breath in at the top. As you exhale, push into the feet, let your head slide back and try to tuck the tailbone and up a little bit further. So the tailbone is reaching towards that fold of your knees. Holding here, just breathing into belly. Entirely up to you, any variations of arms. So maybe arms reaching back behind you, or you can interlace the hands together underneath your back. Tuck the shoulders under, create a little bit more height. Or stay where you are. Or come out of the bridge. Take another full round of breath wherever you are. Start to release your arms back to the sides and use an exhale to slowly roll the spine back to the floor. Make sure the tailbone is the last thing to touch the ground. Send the right foot towards the ceiling, take a breath in. Hands around the back of the thigh, just draw it into a gentle hamstring stretch. Nothing too flexibility focused, just creating a bit of ease through the muscle. Roll the ankle around a couple of times. And change direction with the rolling. Bend the knee so the ankle rests onto the left thigh and maybe you just pause here with the right hand pushing that knee open, might feel enough. We'll bring it into a deeper glute stretch where the hands are gonna thread through to pull in the left thigh towards you. So shin comes towards the shoulders. Lightly flex both feet. If your right elbow meets the inner thigh, use the elbow to push the knee open. And as you exhale, press the tailbone down into the floor. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw and the neck. Really full breath. Slowly untangle the legs. We'll start with left leg hamstring stretch. Just lift the heel to the ceiling. Hands stay around the back of that left thigh. Again, nothing too strong. We're not, not focusing into flexibility so much, just relaxing the leg. Roll the ankle a couple of times either way. and then bending the knee, bring it into the figure of four. So option, just to stay with the foot on the ground, using the left hand to press the knee out, or threading it through, so hands pull in the right thigh. Lightly flex both feet. Use the left elbow if it meets to push the knee further open. And as you exhale, press the tailbone into the floor, Keep long and soft through the back of the neck. Breathing into the lower belly, slowly releasing the feet. In the last stretch, just to release the quads. So take the feet as wide as your mat and come onto the tiptoes. Walk the tiptoes as close towards your body as feels good. So keep the feet wide, but close to you. Drop both knees down to the left. Just let them kind of fall wherever they want to fall to. Then use your right hand to grab the right ankle and tuck the foot round towards your bum any further. So it doesn't matter where this left leg is, it's more about the right side. Reach the right knee forwards and then down towards the ground. So you create this lengthening down the top side of the leg. If it's pulling into the knee at all, then either bring the heel closer towards your bum or just forget this one altogether for now. We don't want to um, bring any tweakiness into the knees. Stay where you are. Just take another full breath in. And as you exhale, belly to spine, bring the knees back through the center. Stretch that knee out if you need to. And we'll just change sides with that. So feet are wide on the tiptoes. Drop both knees down to the right. And then use the left hand to bring the left foot in closer towards you. So try and tuck the foot underneath your bum area. And then lengthen the left knee forwards and down. So lightly try to tuck the tailbone as you're bringing the lower back a little bit closer to the floor. Wow, oh, feeling pretty spicy and nice and forwards today. 
take a big breath in. And as you exhale, belly to spine, bring the knees through the center, give the knee a stretch out, and place the foot to the floor. Give the knees a little rock side to side, and I'll just let you have a couple of seconds to either take yourself through a twist or a happy baby, anything that kind of feels helpful for the body to release. And when you're ready, just allow yourself to come flat to the ground. Take a full stretch, anything you need to do. Take a full, long inhale. And as you exhale, slowly let go of the breath, and let go of the body, and let go of the mind. Take a couple of big breaths. Each time you're exhaling, let go a little bit further. Releasing any ujjayi breath, just allow the breath to feel a little more effortless. And when you're ready to find another full body stretch, so reach the arms back behind you, reach out through the feet, point the toes or push out your heels, take a sigh or a yawn, or have a wriggle. And on an exhale, gather up the limbs into the middle, so hugging the legs into the body. Either roll yourself to one side or take a gentle rock through to seat it, bring yourself upright. Bring the hands to the legs or the heart center, and just either closing the eyes or keep the gaze low. Give the neck a little roll side to side if it needs it. And then keeping the spine tall. Just close your practice, bringing to mind just one thing that you can feel grateful for today. Acknowledge one thing that you really like about yourself today. and recognize one thing that you have gained or released from getting to a yoga mat today. Bring that to the heart center. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, bow your head to your hands. Well done guys, namaste. Thank you so much for joining. Well done. Have fun. <laughs> have a good day guys, bye. Love, love, love.